Well, hello. Um, yesterday was optimization day, and I enjoyed it so much I decided to do optimization day today too. Um, I really needed to optimize the render system, and it's just been bugging me forever. Like this, this game runs so slow, especially when I'm streaming or recording a, a live video. And I'm recording a, a video right now of my whole screen, and you can see the frame rate's about 30. Uh, but I've got it locked at 60 now um, for the rest of the game, or when when the game is not when when my computer is not recording a video. Um, the biggest thing to note is that the the Ren A over there it's hovering at about three to four hundred milliseconds. That while I was recording a video used to be upwards of 800 to a thousand milliseconds, which is just like we've gotten a basically a hundred percent improvement right there. This, this system's twice as fast or whatever. We've gotten, we've halved the amount of time that the render system spends animating. And, um, that was, gosh, that was, it's still, if I could figure out other ways to make it, the system better, I will. And I know it, at some point I will figure it out, but, um, cause Ren.A over there is just still by far the most time consuming part of this whole game. Um, if I could figure that, if I could get that down to like, even while recording this video, if that were only like 100 milliseconds, gosh, it might even run at 60 frames a second while recording this video, which would be pretty sweet on this old laptop. Uh, but let's look at some code and figure out, well, first actually we'll show um, what's going on. This is how I figured out how to make the render system faster. Um, when it's flashing pink right there, I'll slow down time a little bit. Flashes pink. Those are all the entities that are getting repainted. <clears throat> when, for example, the player changes animation, see that he put his shoulders up and the pink flared. He put his shoulders back down and it flared again. He's changing his animation, so he has to re-render his voxels, which means that he goes through every single one of his 3D voxels, erases them, and then also erases every other entity within that touches that blue rectangle at all. Any other entity that touches that gets repainted because we have to repaint the ground and stuff like that because, gosh, the, sh the player's shadow might have been updated, the voxel model might have been changed. Like, there's a lot that has to be repainted. And I can get smarter about that, I'm sure. I can find some more huge wins and optimize things there. But um, the really the only optimization I made today to get such uh, significant performance boosts was just to only repaint voxels that are within that blue rectangle right even though all the, all those pink those pink boxes right there are representing entities that have voxels that are falling with within that pink rectangle right there in two-dimensional space um even though they're all touching even slightly we only have to render a few of their voxels so we don't have to we can skip a lot of work trying to f look at the voxels depth buffer painting the voxel if it's okay, erasing the depth buffer, updating the depth buffer, and all that kind of stuff doesn't have to be done. So um, so that's a huge boost right there. It's basically just repainting only the stuff that's within that blue rectangle rather than all those pink entities, which also um, has an added bonus of kind of solving one of my other issues, and that's Z order. When I uh, Let's put it back to normal time here. When I used to run, when I used to just stand right here and it would repaint all those entities, it would also kind of draw them in a different Z order. Like they might, might be in the wrong Z order because, uh, for example, the, the ground underneath the player's feet right here um, doesn't get repainted while the ground underneath the player's feet right there does get repainted. Um, so if this gets repainted and this one doesn't, then the Z order might have changed a little bit. If there's Z, if they're if they're in their two-dimensional space, their z, which is their depth, well, if it, basically if their depth is was equal, then we would have a z order issue. So it kind of fixes that because only the stuff that gets repainted within that box really helps all that too, and it actually helps the game's rotational speed too. I know it slows down a lot uh, because I'm recording this video, but while I'm playing around with no recording going on. That is solid at six. It, it well, no. When it rotates, it goes down to thirty. But still, it's a lot faster than it, it felt before. So, big improvements in the render system, and probably more to be made. As you can see, like even standing right here, this is a pretty optimal area because there's not that many entities to redraw. Um, 
we're hovering at like 160 milliseconds, 150, 200 maybe. I'm sure that could get below 100 with more optimizations. Uh, I've got some ideas kind of cooking, but um, for now, this is some really, really good progress to have, to have been, been made. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.